I'm Rick Johansson, and this is the Iron Echo Design Channel. Today, we're gonna do a beginner's Inkscape tutorial, specifically doing 2D vector art, and I wanted to do a study of a, a very simple object with a simple shape so we can focus more on the technique and some of the basic tools you can use as you learn Inkscape. So if you don't know what this is, this is a computer disk from 30, 40 years ago, and I actually have one that was mine from back in the day. Uh, we call them floppy disks. I think they're actually called five and a quarter inch disks. This was Wavy Navy. If you ever played that game, then you can uh, put a note in the comments and we can bond about being old. All right, so let's begin with grabbing the Create Rectangles and Squares tool, and we'll move into some open space. Now I've picked a reference photo, just Google um, floppy disk or five and a quarter inch disk, and I picked one on an angle on purpose because I don't wanna trace it, I don't wanna to cheat too much, I just wanna know what are the actual elements we're gonna build on this piece of 2D vector art, and that'll help us make our workflow go faster. So if you hold Shift and Control together, it'll help you pull out a perfect square, nice and even, but we don't want it to be yellow, I wanna do like this black original floppy disk color. So if you don't have your fill and stroke menu, it's this paintbrush in a corner thing, and I've got on fill, and then this eyedropper tool lets you select, if you have like specifics, like I wanna use these colors I brought in. So I'll do this dark gray as the actual disc color. And that brings us to this key skill, which is how do you actually stamp out a shape out of a shape? Let's take a closer look. So besides the hole itself and the disc, we have to make this white ring and this gray part, which is like the film that is the memory itself. So choose your create circles tool. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the color that's easy to see. I'll just choose like this yellow. So we'll do shift and control. And that makes a nice, smooth, even circle. And I'm gonna purposely place it like way off centered so you can see this part. So I've got my circle way off centered. And I'm gonna do shift, collect the floppy disk. And then we'll go to align and distribute menu. So if you don't have it, it's like this bar graph up there. And then if you're relative to last selected and they're both highlighted, this one will do horizontal centering, and this part will do vertical centering. So that is perfectly in the middle, which brings it to the next step. We're gonna do a couple of these um, difference, uh, path difference settings. So collect your circle, collect your uh, floppy disk, and then path difference. And <laughs> there you go, it just pulls it right away. So now we'll do the, the memory part and the white circle. So same thing, grab the create circle tool, Go to shift and control for a nice clean circle. And now this actually has to be the correct color because we're gonna keep this gray part. So I'll go to my fill and stroke menu. I'll do my eyedropper. This is gonna be my memory film. And then there's a couple ways you can do this part, but we'll choose the one that keeps reinforcing this skill. So get your circle again and we'll do shift and control. And this time we will make it a little bit tighter it's in a slide underneath, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want to align it. So I will click both of them, go back to align, last selected, horizontal, vertical, and they're already collected, so we'll go back to path, difference. And there we go. I just want to see how this slides under there. So that's a little too big, and that's good. That's good, looks really good right there. Okay, so then to do that, we're actually gonna cheat on the white circle. Just do control D, which duplicates it, and then if you go to your fill, I'll do my dropper, and I'll just change, oh, there's a stroke on it. For stroke, just X out of that. Okay, so if you look closely, and I remember this as a kid too, the, the circle never really lines up perfectly. It's kind of like wobbles around in the casing there. So we'll do that. In this case, first we'll put in our disc. It'll snap into place. The reason it snapped into place up here, there's some tools and guides. And if you have enable snapping capable, then watch what happens. It just kind of goes, it just can throw it in there. It knows where to go. It snaps into place. So that's good for that. But for this one, I want to turn it off. So now snapping's off. So if I resize this a little bit, now when I bring it in, I can keep it off centered a, a little a slightly because that's how it looks in real life. We're not going for photorealism, but we do want to give the observer some, some type of detail. And because of that, I'm going to choose, if I go to filters, I'll do a drop shadow just to give it a little bit more effect. I'll go to live preview and see now it has a little bit of depth, a little bit of weight to it. Apply, I, I like that. Next skill, we'll go with this pill shape. And again, there's a couple ways we can do it, but let's choose the rectangle 
and then just draw one out about where you want it. And I'm going to show you, see how if I'm on rectangle tool, one of the corners is a circle, or if you're on edit paths by no, one of the corners is a circle. Either way, just draw your circle down, and then that just kind of rounds it out. And then we can look at our reference photo. That's about right. The color's off. It's going to be the same. It actually, in real life, would be the same film that this gray is. And I'll go to my fill, eyedropper, and then do the memory. And then we got that shape right there. But we're not done. Sometimes it's fun to repurpose the shape. So up here, see these little nubs? I'm going to just repurpose that. So I'll do Control D. I'll take one out. I'll make it very, very small. And then I'm going to place it down at the bottom where that nub would be. Control D to duplicate that one and then bring the other, other side there. <laughs> They're kind of off a little bit, but that's okay. And then let's just go through that skill set again. So click on your nub and then the disc itself, just the disc, then go to path, difference. That <laughs> it just every single time works every time. Shift, path, difference. Okay, so that's looking good. And then nobody would know this unless you had these things. But like, there was like an analog way to, to protect it so you couldn't overwrite the memory. And that was by cutting out the thing. And once it was cut out, you couldn't um, overwrite anything. So you had to like physically take like a hole punch thing. So in, for us, we'll hole punch it with just another rectangle. So let's, again, we'll make the color easy to see. I'll just slide it over here. I think it was if it was double-sided, you'd have one on each side. Once like you got the program you wanted, you would just like hole punch and then it's official. But for us in Inkscape, we'll just shift, collect both, and do path difference. And <laughs> it brings back memories. I want to make the label now, so I'll pull a rectangle out, give it a neutral, neutral color. Let's put it on into place. And then to make it look a little better, if you double click on the rectangle, you see how it has a square, square, circle. The circle allows you to make the rounded corners again. And then usually these labels had like a color code. So I'll duplicate my label. I'll bring it down. You can't see it yet, but I want to give it a red. And <laughs> it looks pretty good. Actually, I don't like how that's off a little bit. Let's duplicate that. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to unround the corner on this one because I want it to line up a little bit. All right, let's see how that looks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we may, if you want the most cutting edge current technology, you know where to find me. So I'll go into no man's land. I'm going to gather everything, control G, and let's bring it into place. And yeah, there we go. There we go. If you want to change the color, if you try to change it just by clicking a different color, it'll mess everything up. So control Z. So ungroup. So grab object, ungroup. And then only choose the disc, and then that'll let you, you know, let's go with like a yellow. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty good. Yeah, so then you can make like a pattern or like you're doing like a sticker pack or something. So there you go. This is, this could be Carmen San Diego. This one's maybe Wavy Navy. Anyway, thanks. I uh, hope have fun with it and see ya.